the Newton's method is a fine invariant. So from here, let's denote n f the, the the gradient, the Newton's gradient method. Okay, so n f is equal to n f x is equal to x minus Hessian f x inverse gradient of f x. Okay, so let's use this notation from now. So this lemma uh, explains uh, Newton's affine invariant property. So let f is twice differentiable, and A is an invertible matrix, and B is a d-dimensional vector. And let g is another function, but this is very special function, bijective affine function, um, defined by matrix A and vector B. So G Y is A Y plus B for um, sorry. So for a vector Y for the input vector Y. Then um, for a twice differential function H, uh, we can define the Newton's method like this: X minus um, H inverse uh, Hessian of H inverse matrix times gradient of H matrix, whenever this can be defined. Um, then the when we com compute the Newton's method for the uh, function composition of F and G, then this is equal to G inverse inverse matrix G inverse function. Um, the Newton function of f and g function composition. Okay, so the, when you compute the Newton's method of composition function of f and g, then this operation basically first map your original point to uh, using g function mapping, and then compute the um, Newton's method with function f. And then using the inverse matrix or inverse function G, we are uh, making the point to go back to the original point. So there is a G function and there is G inverse function. This, fun this um, pair uh, cancels the, the effect of G mapping. Okay, so let's, let's consider a simple example to help you understand. Okay, let's say x is equal to a y plus b, so this is a g mapping. Then f a y plus b is equal to the composition function f and g. Right? Then y t plus 1 this is let's say yt from yt uh, up, um, updated by Newton then yt plus 1 is equal to yt minus Hessian f and g, y, t, inverse, gradient, f and g, y, t. Then gradient of f and g, y, t is equal to a transpose gradient of f, a, y, t plus b. The Hessian of f and g function at y, t point is a transpose Hessian of f a y t plus b a matrix. That that is the when you have um, a fine function inside your function, uh, then gradient naturally having a transpose matrix in front of your gradient, and for Hessian matrix you have. Um, 
A transpose and A matrix in, in both sides. Okay, then from the definition, yt plus 1 is equal to yt minus A inverse um, the hashtag of f a y t plus b inverse times gradient of f a y t plus b. Okay. Then x t plus one. is equal to xt minus gradient no, hessian of fxt inverse matrix gradient of fxt okay so why uh, this matrix in front of gradient of fat plus b uh, this is because when you have A times B matrix, then the inverse is B inverse times A inverse matrix. So the inverse of this um, Hessian, Hessian of F and G, this is A inverse matrix times inverse of Hessian matrix. times um, A transpose inverse matrix okay so A inverse matrix times Hessian inverse matrix times A transpose inverse matrix and then you multiply gradient of F and G function which is A transpose times gradient of F A T plus B a transpose, A transpose inverse, it becomes identity matrix. So we have A inverse times Hessian inverse matrix times gradient of F. And then when you multiply A matrix to both sides, and, and when you add um, plus B vector to both sides, then you have xt plus 1 and you have xt and then a inverse and a multiplication becomes identity, identity matrix and you end up with uh, this equation xt plus 1 is equal to xt minus Hessian inverse of f function and then gradient of f okay so so basically, um, for both cases, f, a, y plus b, and learn a Newton's method with respect to y, and just simply make fx and learn um, Newton's method with respect to x, both cases, the trajectory are the same. There is no difference, which is called a fine invariant. Even if you uh, change your input by using any affine uh, transformation, the computation of Newton's method always the same, basically. Okay, so so it is because affine uh, transformation cannot change the um, the functional low surface dramatically, and the Hessian inverse can easily fix up. When we study gradient descent um, algorithm, we uh, represent gradient descent algorithm with argument operation using the fxt plus gradient of fxt transpose x minus xt plus 1 over 2 gamma x minus xt norm square. So basically, when you um, minimize this second order polynomial equation every time, then the solution trajectory basically exactly the gradient descent approach. 
So here the Newton's method just replaces this 1 over 2 gamma x minus x t square by 1 over 2 x minus x t transpose Hessian of f x t times x minus x t. So Hessian, Hessian basically explain the local low surface shape. And so when you uh, put the Hessian matrix for this uh, second order term, basically this part can make your local uh, shape more regular, and then your trajectory becomes more um, directly go to uh, global optimal point. Okay, and if the second um, order of gradient, the Hessian value is, is constant, it's a fixed over whole input range, then Newton's methods can find global optimal point one shot by one shot. Because uh, every time we could uh, find solution for this uh, second order polynomial equation, and this second order polynomial equation is, is exactly the, our objective function, so with uh, one computation of this argument operation, we find the global optimal point. And also, even if this is not a fixed matrix, when the Hessian is very smooth, smooth means every input point share almost identical Hessian matrix, and then again, this approximation, this second order approximation is really close to uh, the original objective function. So every time we can uh, find xt plus 1 very close to the global optimal point, and which means we can very fastly find the global optimal point.